<laughs> it's your boys. Welcome back to Happy Hour, a Quick Sixer podcast. Uh man, it is good to be back, my dude. It is good to be back, my dude. Um, we got a lot of shit going on, Drew. We got a lot, a uh, lot of shit. You know, what I, I'm saying? I can't wait to get into it. But before we do, I'm gonna ask you a question. What's that question? Left or right? Ooh, I love the left or right game. I love the left or right game. Actually, I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you do that game to me too. Um, I'm gonna go. You know, we gonna go left. Oh, Ooh, what's up with that left? Mm. All right, here we go. Firestone Flyjack. Ooh, oh, what was that? A, what a ninety-six is this? calorie joint. This is a hazy Indian pale ale from Firestone. It says citrus. Hazy, crisp. You want to hear that crisp real quick? I'm about to, yeah, I'm about yeah, to give you that ASMR. Ooh, that's that crispy boy. Ooh. Firestone Firejack, you say? Mm-hmm. No, Flyjack. Right. Flyjack. 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 96 Cal. Right. Uh, it's that light ounces. joint, huh? So, yes, yeah, this is a breeze right here. It's a 4.0. Ooh, so, the 4.0. Yeah. Man. Mm, just a Ooh, little. Drew. I'm just. Ooh. I'm warming up. Don't worry. I got another one. You picked the left. Oh. This is. This is on you. Oh, uh, bro. I know. I know. But I think I just gave you like the wrong. Like my shit is is. Ooh, is it nice? How is it? Ooh. Let me know. Damn. How is feel, it? Mm, that make you kind of want to like jiggle. You know, like you know, I guess real cold and crispy on the inside. And you just kind of want to wiggle it down. Ooh, I love to mm. wiggle down. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love that. Um, Dude, it's no, no what, seriously. What it's what? really like crispy. It's like uh, it's like a, you know how like hazy IPAs sometimes would be a little bit soft coming in, but mm-hmm. this is real crispy. If it's cool, I like it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> damn. You go ahead. Right. You can give me. I want you to go right. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Okay. 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 You know your boy. That's, that's what I was trying to tell you though. Uh, so your boy. Might have fucked up, you know what, what I'm happened? saying? I'm saying, you both drink- my boy, both my boys, heavy as fuck. <sighs> you this stink. ain't no light games in this in this whole damn. I don't think this you, whole damn episode. <laughs> I don't think you ever go light. I don't think I've ever seen you go below a five. Oh no! <laughs> no 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 no! You that's stay not that, even. You stay in that heavy beer. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a preview. I'm gonna okay. give you a preview. Uh, uh, oh, what is oh, that? Is that what is that ours? symbol? That bearded oh, ours. Oh shit! They're bearded. <laughs> that <laughs> hologram. Oh, oh, oh. hologram. Look at that label, though. Look at that label. This is like if you dip Lisa Frank in some acid. Oh, Here oh. we go. <laughs> Damn. Damn. This is at eight point five. Imperial fruited sour, black currant, blueberry, orange zest, lactose. Hey, you know. Tell me, tell me you didn't have a notebook that color in the seventh grade. <laughs> oh, you know what? I might have. I might have. You know, just that year I met Meg too, the seventh grade, you know. Oh, so damn. Who knows? Who knows? Sh- shouts out to Long Time Love. I know, I know. That, that oh, bruh. Bruh, that 20 year deep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, You know, Bearded Iris does that 1% for the planet. So we got to we mm. give them. Oh, damn. That's a big crack in it. That's like big crack. Um, Ooh. Oh fuck me! So I know it's a it's a sour, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but um, eight point five on a sour though. Oh, good lord! All right, we're gonna pour it in that bearded iris glass. Go ahead. Let's see what's up. Ooh shit! Look at that. Mm. Look oh at that damn! Blood. That's straight up blood. You get that ox oh, blood, huh? Shit. Go oh, ahead. Wayne. Go ahead, get that ox blood on. Oh, Another you gotta o- go ahead. Put your go ahead. Put your blazer on. From the wedding, <laughs> look just like it. Oh fuck! I should, I should, I should. <laughs> You'd be mashing your beers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that one percent for the planet, bearded iris hologram. Well, I'm gonna keep this label. This shit's this shit's tight. Let me let me tell you how it tastes. <laughs> you know, did it's you eight point five. Did you just jiggle it in your ear to make sure you didn't have any? Yeah, left? of course I did. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, so let me, let me tell you how, oh, damn, God, damn, damn, that's wine, bro. You should have drinking some it wine. It might be that wine. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, that lean back sip. 
Ooh, this is dangerous. Oh, it, is it go straight down? Ooh, it's dangerous, bro. It's too, <laughs> it's too good. It's like it's like you ever had like a thick red wine? Mm-hmm. Um, it's you know how it kind of tastes like um almost milky. I know this this shit has lactose though, so it that's why. But bro, it tastes like a you can taste that black currants. You know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Thick ass sour ass beer. Oh, you know, it's thick sour, you know what I'm Oh shit. <laughs> You'll be mm. you, you're gonna be sour at the end of that cuff. I know you are. Bye. Bye. Yep. <laughs> All right. Um. So I got these. I got these. Uh. These topics for you, Drew. Let's go. Got these topics. All right. I'm gonna. I gotta bring up this. Uh. This article. So give me one sec. But topic is. Bro, I don't know if you looked at it, but uh. You know, you boys over a Waffle House getting <laughs> their own beer. <laughs> Bro, I heard bacon and kegs. <laughs> Bacon and kegs, my dude. That is so clever. Look at how clever is that shit, bro. Um, but it's not even a a, a a a light boy though. No, you know what I'm saying. Did you did you check out this percentage? This I'm, is at six point five. D- they going for it's a red ale, so it's a bacon infused yeah. red ale. Now that how weird is that? We've been talking about this. We've been talking about new trends and beers coming out, and like, is it gonna be peppers? Is it gonna be what? And yeah. then all of a sudden, Waffle House gonna hit your boys with some bacon infused beer. Like, Bruh. I know they're gonna get some fanboys quick. I know it's gonna Bruh. be. Some, I hope it's good. When's it coming out? Right. Did it say? Um. So they're not just gonna get some fanboys. They're gonna get some all sorts of bullshit. You know. Yeah. They're gonna get some all sorts of boys. Probably some some. I don't know. Oh, it says oh, December, December 18th. 18th. Yeah, so but that's, week before uh, Christmas. Exclusively at the brewery in Greensboro starting for, So it's in, it's in Greensboro. In Georgia. Yeah, so Waffle House uh, World Headquarters in Georgia. Uh, just so you know. Um, but yeah, bro. I, I, you know, we've been talking about... Yeah, like what you were just saying. We've been talking about these beers that... Uh, with the trends and whatnot, mm-hmm. you know, like, like this one, we were talking about lactose, people having a lactose and they shit. And then we were talking about, um, the jalapenos in beers and that's, what's up too. Like, um, but you know, this is, I mean, this is all sorts of fruits. This is a sour. So I don't even know what we're going to, what we're doing, you know, mm. what, yeah. oh, bacon though. Come on. How do you yeah. even do that? Well, you know, uh, bacon yeah, grease. You, shit? You'll see with my my right choice. The other the other beer is a little bit heavier, but I've seen a lot of fruits. Also, I was at the store today, and you know, Mango yeah. Cart, one of my favorite beers. Yeah, yeah. Um, featured on uh one of our episodes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, so they now have a couple different fruits, and you could buy a twelve pack with a variety of fruits of carts, like different, like mm-hmm. mango, pineapple so cart, cart, uh, like lime car I, I, didn't, I didn't see all of them but there was like a whole thing and so i think they about to dip into that fruit world everybody going to fruits now <clears throat> especially with the sours are getting popular and everything well you know i don't know i think i've been it, thinking about this uh i think it's like per season you know it's like seasonal foods and shit you know yeah it's the same thing so i don't know like uh, it, just kind of strange because bacon never really not in season you know what i'm saying <laughs> I know bacon, bacon all year <laughs> It's always round. bacon time You know what I'm saying <laughs> Bro I I am I really want to try that Like I think it's going to be pretty good But also um, I really want to know Should we reach out I really want to know something We should reach out We should reach out for sure all I right, really want to know right. something Speaking of like Waffle House And like their beer and all that stuff I've had some crazy times at Waffle House Like well, Waffle House brings up some, some memories some memories and some crazy times mm. uh, have you ever had a crazy time at waffle house so that's kind of the reason i brought this place this thing up you know mm. what i'm saying uh because i was like man the, the whole article the, so the article I, I sent to drew was um basically while well, it's a an apple news article about waffle house getting their own beer and uh oh, i think we probably should say the the brewery I, it's hard to say. I don't know the. Uh, 
Oconee Brewing Company. Oh, yeah. O-C-O-N-E-E Brewing Company. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it made me think, like, bro, I'm not going to Waffle House at, uh, you know, 4, 3 in the morning after going to the club or whatever the fuck, the bars, mm-hmm. and then eating and getting a beer or drink or bacon flavored drink mm-hmm. you know that, yeah all right I, here's my waffle house stories <laughs> nice tangent keep that in mind keep that in mind all right. all right so um back in the back when me and drew met i was working in uh working at fedex world headquarters in memphis all right for like during college so 10 30 to 4 30 in the morning shifts and you know it's at, at you know w- when you have to hang out with people super late at night like you got to talk to people to stay awake you know what i'm saying so you end up getting these like weird relationships or like weird friends with uh the people that work these late ass jobs so um basically we had this group um that i worked with that would every friday would go out and get breakfast after lunch or after work, not after lunch. <laughs> and um, it would always end up being like a, a, a different place. Like it would, it would either be um, this place called CK's. That's in mm. Memphis. Um, good, it would good, be Waffle uh, House. CK's got a good pecan pie. Go ahead with it, though. Yeah, yeah. So CK, if you can find a CK's, there's not that many <laughs> no, open anymore. They, they, if anyway, there's any. So you go to that or you go to Waffle House? Or IHOP. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Waffle House. This might have been a CK story, but I'm going to pretend it's Waffle House. I think right. it's CK's, though. Um, cool. but, um, I remember a CK story with you that you probably already told. Her. Is it the one the where I, one? the big Buford breakfast? Yeah, yeah. that's the one I was going to talk about. All right. Well, if that's not the one, I'll talk about different ones. Um, yeah, there's many. So, anyways, we, uh, we ended up, Waffle House was usually the last on the list. Uh-huh. As far as like shit we wanted to go to. And the only one that was open that was not in like the straight up hood in Memphis, okay, mm-hmm. was this one that was in Germantown, okay. From the airport where we were working, it's, you know, 25 miles away. Like it's not close, you know, 30 miles yeah. away. And, um, at the time, you know, your boy is tired as fuck. So I, I'm like, I don't want to go to this shit anyway. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make this story short. So anyways, the guy, the only reason we, we agreed to go to this fucking Waffle House is because this dude was being a little bitch about everything and said, I want to go to the Waffle House near my house, like in Germantown. I said, like, all right, fine. Why not? Mm-hmm. And um, so this shit's on Germantown Parkway in between uh, Cordova and Germantown. And so this whole group of people from FedEx go to the Waffle House and guess who doesn't fucking show up? That boy from the, Oh my god, why? Bruh, we 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 angry ate that food oh, and I just bet. left. Cuz none of us live near there. Like none of us. We're just like going cuz this dude bitched about going to the other places we were going to go to. Yeah. So fuck that dude. His name's John. So fuck that guy. <clears throat> all right that's my I, that that sucks i hate john uh and i got i got a john situation but it's not it's not like that uh but it is right. it, my my crazy waffle house story involves somebody who took it too far or did something so uh oh, shit. waffle house is like a go-to for me and the boys me matt and madison used to go there a lot uh, uh just because we mm-hmm. hung out late at night there's nothing there really to do wiggins they they eventually got one in wiggins but um and this, my crazy story is, is that one, but we used to have to go down to like the coast or something anyway. So, uh, I went on this date with this girl and, um, like it was a first date. It was, it was fine. Whatever. I, I took, we went to like a chain restaurant. I can't remember like, Oh, Charlie's or something like that. And I realized like she was being really rude to the waiter. Like she was acting as if she was entitled. And yeah. she had not shown that at all to me, like, ever. Like, we were dating, having a good time. Yeah. And then I was like, this is kind of weird. But she didn't, like, take it over the line then. So I was like, mm, 
All right, so that's that's the pre story. We ended up ending the date. It was fine, but we it just didn't work out. Mm-hmm. So then, me and a bunch of group of people from theater, including that girl who I wasn't dating, and actually she started dating a friend of mine who was there. So okay. we're all hanging out at Waffle House, and it was busy. And and you know, Waffle House not organized. Like they not no they no. not in they shit. Like they it's really well, bad. Let's be fair on Waffle House. Most places that are open super fucking late are usually not. Nah, it's just it's just you know? like people working night shifts, and I I don't blame them for that. Like I know that they're tired and all that stuff, so I'm not I'm not blaming yeah. anybody. But anyway, so we at we're at this table. There's like six of us. We start mm-hmm. getting our food. Some of it's coming out, some of it's not, or whatever. And mm-hmm. the whole time, that girl that I went on the date with is just lighting the fuck up like out of like all the fucking the waiters that are coming over the people who bring drinks she is lighting mm. them up and i'm like everybody's like oh damn why is she being so mean like why you yeah, know whatever yeah. so we <laughs> we finally like start getting our food one by one and it's it is kind of shitty but like then all of a sudden the, this craziest fucking thing happened uh the girl wouldn't eat her first bit of food until all of it came out and so it came out later And then as soon as her food came out, she said, okay, so now make me another one of these because it's cold. Like the first thing that came out and straight up like wouldn't eat any of the food in front of her because one of it came out before the other. And so the waiter and I like I couldn't take it anymore because I can't take it when people treat people bad like that. You can't. You can't. And, and, And I was just like and everybody's just like letting it happen. So I straight up. I finished my food or whatever. I got up and I got, went to the waiter and I gave her a twenty dollar, and my food was like seven dollars, eight dollars. I gave her twenty dollars ticket and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm I gotta I gotta leave. Here's this. So I gave her twenty dollars. Left. I get a call, like fifteen minutes later. Everybody's blowing me up on text and calling me and stuff like that, saying like, yeah, Hey, yeah. Waffle House said you didn't pay. You gotta come back and pay. I was like, I not only did what? I pay. Not only did I pay, but I gave this this waitress who had just been through a hard ass time with my supposed friend. I yeah. gave her like more than ten dollars a tip. Like I gave her like thirteen dollar yeah, yeah, yeah. tip, and and my ticket was like seven bucks. And I was like, I I, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? And so that was like the last time that I ever went and ate at a Waffle House because I couldn't like the memory of that. Couldn't get it past you. I couldn't get it past, so I didn't eat at Waffle House anymore. Fuck, so that that was like one of the hardest times at a restaurant because I hate when people do that. I definitely dodged a bullet there because imagine imagine going to a restaurant with somebody like that for the rest of your life. <laughs> Dude, fuck that. Are you kidding me? Like that is Yeah. You that's unexcusable, bro. It like, is it really is. Like I have I have a bunch of funny shenanigans. like I have like shenanigan stories about Waffle House, but that was by far like that takes the cake. That was one of the craziest, like, bro. That's cause, just cause straight like, up awful, though. Because you like, just hear you hear stories about those kind of people. You don't you don't you're not associated with those people because you don't become friends with somebody who acts like that. So why the fuck was she hiding the, her real self, and then all of a sudden it's gonna blow up on waiters and stuff like that? Like she's some kind of queen or something. Ooh, bro, bro, I hate people like that. I honestly do. Like, you should never treat anybody in food service like that. Cause you know what, Waffle House don't have the benefit of the doubt. Cause all their shit is up front. Like, they grill is like you can see them cooking the food and shit. Yep. But like, you do that to somebody else in like a, a different kind of restaurant where you can't see the food being made, <laughs> you get <gonna> spit at. <laughs> yeah, bro. gonna spit on that food. They're gonna spit on it. Bro, I've worked in some restaurants in my life. You know, you know, your boy never stopped working since he was sixteen. So, uh-huh. um, it, I seen some shit, and yeah. it's not okay. Okay, no. like it's not shit I agreed with, but I was just like, bro, I'm just washing dishes. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you you doing. You know, like uh, you go ahead with your nasty ass. Like you, you do you. Yeah, but, bro. I I, w- I was a waiter for about three months, three or four months at Rafferty's. You remember that? Oh, I remember Rafferty's. That's where I met you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I know it was right when you met me. I was working at Rafferty's. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you hated that. that fucking job. I hated it, dude. I, I I was good at talking to people, but I was not a good waiter. Like I didn't like the Come orders on, no. and shit like that. And plus, like, but Fuck it's Rafferty's, a different though. it's a different culture being a waiter. Like, 
Oh, you know yeah. how like you know how you like you get a work you get work associates and you start hanging out with them and you have like yeah. one thing in common like waiters yeah. the only thing they have in common is talking shit and like oh, yeah. and like uh being real overtly sexual like it, it mm-hmm. is really weird uh just so you know like when you go to a restaurant those waiters might be nice to you there but they talk a shit about you yeah. as soon as they go back to the kitchen. Hundred <laughs> percent about what you're Waiting wearing, a whole, the way you talk, uh, like all oh, that shit. Bro. <laughs> bro, and if you think it's bad in any other city, go to Memphis and be a waiter. Fuck that, yeah. <laughs> bro. Bro, it's a check fest. They're not I, even it, behind it, the it, door. It, they straight up will. Like we we used to have check fests all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, it's funny, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, bro. It's not. It's not even a. Like it's not even uh, they're not even behind the door before they start checking your ass. Like no. right, like in Memphis, they're just like, man, fuck table five. They bitch ass, you know. Uh, especially <laughs> if you're, you're just regular, like, uh. <laughs> like if you're a regular, you definitely get checked. Like especially like oh, if you bruh. don't tip, like, bro, bitch ass Martha in this motherfucker again. <laughs> God damn. Uh yeah, yeah. Dude, I regular can't. regulars are funny, dude. They it, it's. It's funny. I don't know. But yeah. I'm glad I got out of that because I cannot be a waiter. I, I just, I shout yeah, out, shout out I to waiters for, for straight up. Shout out to it. waiters. Fuck that job. You know, that sucks, man. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Bro, this, this bearded iris hologram get me a certain way. Oh, you already get it flipped up? Good <laughs> Lord. This is <laughs> secret, secret, secret it's killer, a secret killer, sauce. You know, I'm drinking that Midas. That uh, what's the, what's the, what's my man's in in uh ancient Rome? That guy. You know, you straight homies. up. I don't. <laughs> no, I feel ancient like this Rome. that wine they gave that boy. You know. Did, wait, uh, Julius. Wait, who are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, this that's not. Is it Caesar who got? Is it Julius before? Caesar? Julius Caesar got stabs. Yeah, this uh, the man's wine that he got beforehand. You, you, know? you know, you straight up look looks like a you know like when a witch is like brewing something and it be turning colors, it turns to that color. <laughs> you you look you start up drinking a witch brew. Ooh, that oh, whisk, bro. That hocus pocus. <laughs> that you know toilet saying? trouble. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit, the toils. Um. Uh, <clears throat> oh damn, damn. Anyway, all right. So basically, don't fuck with your waiters. That's what we're trying to get. At. Yeah. Um. So that's two positive things. Don't fuck your waiters. <laughs> and uh, well, you can fuck. You can fuck them if they want to. Yeah, I consensual. mean, you can fuck them. They will agree with that. You know, they would like. But don't that. fuck with them. Yes, yes, yes. And this one percent for the planet. You know, I'm gonna show this off too, so so people see it. Um mm-hmm. Yeah. My boy my yeah. boys at uh Firestone not doing that. <laughs> you know, they selfish. <laughs> they they okay. They're they, okay. They, 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 they keep they doing one. them. They, they probably I if I didn't you know. if I didn't look at the web I probably if I looked at the website, they probably doing something good. Oh, they hundred percent they probably doing some shit that's like in the communities or whatever. Yeah. Um <clears throat> how come I wrote down in our notes that I'm just thirsty? Or some fucking the, drink, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think we came up with one of the best terms, uh, thangry. Remember, oh, we, we came up with thangry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. thangry. That's when you thangry. thangry. Yeah, t- t- it's describe thangry. Describe describing thangry. thangry. Uh, so it's when you you so fucking thirsty for some beers that mm. thang. That's what thangry is. You mm. you so th- fucking thirsty that you you just you mad you don't have no beers in your hand. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? People just He's angry annoy, as fuck. Like people annoy you. Like you can't like you text and people just short text. You can't even like focus. Mm. You so fucking mm. angry. Mm. Mm. And then and then and then as soon it's like you know those Snickers commercials. <laughs> you know those Snickers, the Snickers commercials. commercials? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's exactly like that. <laughs> where the they be Snickers, like, you know, completely different. And then all of a sudden they take a bite of Snickers. It's like as soon mm-hmm. as you take a sip of beer, that angry goes away. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, you know, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> can't, can't go into it. I can't, I can't with the thing. Fucking Adam, right when you saying, <laughs> right when you saying that what? shit, our boy Adam from last episode texts me. He says, the texture says that thick boy. And <laughs> 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 Oh thick fuck! Look at that thick head. And he huh? says he he has a beer, a gnarly barley beer from down in New Orleans, uh, mm. said, and he has a hugger around. It says you can't you can't spell American without the can. Well, you this know man. gnarly gnarly barley is from Hammond. That's the beer that we had. That's oh, yeah, a skateboard Hammond. that you got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the skateboard but, that we got. 
Yeah, I know. Well, you have. I don't from get that. that shit. Yeah, yeah. That shit's fire. Um, I want to talk about something real quick. Go ahead. Um, so, I, you know, I've been... Today I had a weird little mu- musical journey, you know what I'm saying? Mm, okay. Um, I music drops. So I got I I have a Apple Music subscription, right? Mm-hmm. Music can be dropping on Fridays. Okay? You know how I, you know how I know you get that music subscription because every Why? time I see a new album and I want to go check it out, yo bitch ass pops up. Already listened to. You just sitting there doing this. <laughs> There's like a little icon of you on every single music I listen to. I just see your ass just doing this. Uh, no, no, it's just like <laughs> yeah, you doing that. You got you that. Know you you know you wore it. That that wedding picture with the uh with the. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's you just, know your boy was faded. Bro, how do you get to the music before I do? It's like you just straight up be li- listening to it. Because my huh? my time zone's two hours ahead of you. I know. <laughs> Any, That's anybody the only can, reason. I I be thinking, oh Pat don't listen to this artist, and all of a sudden here you go. Pat listen to this shit. <laughs> Pat yeah. listen to this shit. Go ahead, yeah, hit yeah. me with that Friday music <laughs> dropping. So today, I was listening to some. Uh, I'm. Uh, I want to tell you the album names because like I was, it I went really weird like today. I don't know. Like sometimes I'll I try to listen to like one thing a week. It drops on Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Sometimes I'll skip it because sometimes that shit is just trash. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, today I started off the day with um, Chris Stapleton's "Starting Over" album. Mm. Okay. Interesting. You no, know, you you listen to the Chris Stapleton's. You know what I'm saying? Chris Stapleton's is is good. He's mm-hmm. he's. Uh, I don't well, really I, fuck I'm with a... country really, but like this man's. Oh, I fuck wait. with this man's. You know what I'm saying? Got a new hit, right? Uh, this man that? always got hits. Man, no, man. man got hits, but I don't this listen man to got him. Hits. Yeah, yeah, he he got hits, but then like, then you know what I go? What what do you think I go to right after that? I, I, I listen I mean, to three albums today. I mean, the the logical thing would be either you go into some like from country, you go into maybe little rock or something. I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't know what Chris mm. Stapleton would mm. inspire you to go to. So, all right, so let me hit you. Chris Stapleton's, you know, he, he, uh, he's not, he got that beat. I don't know if he's he? country, though. He's not, he's got, really. he's got like, he's got like hip hop beats in his song, don't he? No. Am I, am not I thinking really. of somebody else? I'm thinking of that, think... uh, Brown, uh, what's that dude's name? Zach Brown? Uh, yeah. Maybe? I'm thinking about, no, I don't know who I'm thinking See, about. no, nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, Chris Stapleton, you know, he, this man been writing hits forever, and then he eventually just said, fuck it, I'm going to be a artist. I'm going to like do my own shit. Mm-hmm. So, um, I, you know, he's got that Tennessee whiskey song. That's probably his most popular song. Um, but yeah, I know I like his shit. I don't even think he falls into like the country spot. You know, he's kind of like some, all sorts of genres, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But anyway, this man's going to have a song about his fucking dog today. Oh, um, no, bro. Sad. How are you going to, how are you going to have a song about, about your dog and is the sweetest goddamn song you ever heard in your whole fucking life. They be doing that. They and how come how, how come you know how it's going to end? You always know it's going to end bad. Mm-hmm. Cuz like, cuz cuz why would they ever write a song about their sweet ass dog unless Maggie. You Maggie, know Maggie. Oh, Maggie, god damn it. I god know damn, that Maggie. they I know because artists they want to have some kind of expression to uh, mm-hmm. allow their emotions to, you know, unfurl. Mm-hmm. And they're sitting mm-hmm. there. I know they can't be singing a happy song. Because, you know what? Mm. Speaking of this, I- I'll let you get back to the music. But this is music. Mm. But, you know, like, uh, there was a song about Will Smith uh, that came Getting out. Getting jiggy with it. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not from Will Smith. It was about Will Smith. It was from uh, it was from Joiner, Joiner Lucas. Oh, all right. And what he did was he sang a good song about Will Smith about like how he's an icon and like we should give a rose to them before they die. And that mm. brings up a good point to what this Chris Stapleton is because uh, what's his name, Chris Stapleton? Yeah, Chris Stapleton. You should so, listen to this dude. I'm telling you, I, I, like I listen to it anyway. The hits, but, though. But, hits. like, 
all these like songs about like the people that they love or they lost or whatever they mm -hmm. never do the songs in the middle of the happiness you know they just do it after the shit happens to them so i know that dog died i know it died i'm not gonna ruin it for he, you but i mean where the red fern grows very it, similar you know what i'm saying because nobody nobody except for chris joiner has been giving roses to their icons and their friends and their family you know while they're still alive i, I, I chris stapleton you just you just combine chris two people my no, man. uh joiner lucas my bad mm -hmm. joiner lucas Damn. You, Damn. How am I turning up on a 4.0? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so I'm going to get back to my list real quick. And then you can pop that beer. I'm going to pop a new beer for you guys on Periscope. This is a Quick Sixer podcast, a happy hour. Go check it out on iTunes or whatever the fuck you get your podcast at. Here we go again. So, Drew, the Chris Stapletons led me into this. I was sad for a minute. You know, I had to, you know, I had to go for I was like, fuck, man, how are you going to talk about this? This this dog you had, you know, this dog this dog was like the the best shit in your life, whatever, it's sweetest dog ever. Trying to remind me of my own dog back in the day, you know what mm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Well, fuck you, Chris Stapleton. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So naturally, I go go ahead and had to listen to some two chains, you know. <laughs> you go, go two flip, just go flip it up. Yeah, had to hit hit some two chains on it. Uh, he got a new album called So Help Me God. The Chris Stapleton's thing is called Starting Over. Uh, two Chains, So Help Me God. It's it's pretty good as far as the Two Chains album go. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. so you talking about when Friday music drops, like where do you go on iTunes to see that shit? Oh, so you go to the Listen Now uh, section, uh, and then uh, you scroll down a little bit, and it says New Music. There's like a whole bunch of albums. You well, just see, scroll I got, and you pick. I, I got Browse. Uh, you don't have a li uh, You can go to Browse. I got, too, I I got For You, Browse, and Radio. Hmm. So are you, you Apple? Pl yeah. Are you, uh, yeah. There's no new music section in that? Because it um, is on the phone. Maybe it's just on the phone and I'm not seeing it. Coming maybe. soon. More to explore. Categories. Um, no, usually the the coming soon is below the new music. Uh, I don't I don't know. I'd be I'd be listening to that uh, Ariana Grande positions though. <laughs> that you did. Uh, bro, it go hard though. <laughs> oh my bro, God. I don't know, man. That, that's my guilty pleasure. I I'd be listening to some pop music sometimes. I know you do. You, that's what I was about to say though. So. Mm -hmm. I listened to Two Chains because I was like, man, I gotta get me a little bit more hype. You know what I'm saying? This Chris Stapleton's is really good, but like, you gotta get me a little, you gotta get me a little, little bit of these beats in here, you know? So I go listen to this. So help me God, and uh, read a little bit about it. Saw saw that uh, he used. You know how people would be using baby pictures for their rap albums, you know? Mm -hmm. So he used a um, like, I think middle school picture of him, but it says proof under it. And he explained to somebody, I forget who it was, that his family didn't have enough money to buy the actual pictures. So you had to I related it. with that, for real. Because mm -hmm. my parents did not buy those fucking school pictures ever. Damn. So I related with that. I had to listen to the shit, you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. pretty good. Go ahead and check it out. He got a song on here called, uh, uh, what's it called? Tony. I thought it was like actually pretty good. I was like, oh shit, okay, mm. okay, okay. Sp speaking of pretty good, I'm gonna tease you real quick. Are you gonna uh, tease? I'm gonna hit you with that third album. You tease me though. Oh, look at that tease real quick. What's uh, that? What's that? Mm. Go ahead and the third right. album. Third album was. And this one I didn't listen to the whole thing because it's like nine hours long. Okay. What? Yeah. 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 So, you would uh, be listening to the symphony. <laughs> No, it's a, it's a collection. So it was uh, Elton John's Jewel Box. Oh, dear album. Boy. Yeah. So uh <clears throat> I like Elton John. Elton John be, you know, he be mm -hmm. going in. This 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 album is 148 songs, 9 hours 57 minutes long. Damn. Basically, I just listened to I was like, "What is this?" And then I read the description cuz like I'm like, "Elton John released the album today?" It's kind of weird. You know, um, and then it's basically 
a collection of songs, not like a col- uh, hit, a hits or whatever, but like um, B sides, like rarities, and like other songs that got eclipsed by like his bangers, like um, you know, you know, like a uh, Tiny Dancer and your song, and like all these songs you hear on you could hear on the radio any day, but like these songs were on that those same albums, but just like they were good. But mm-hmm. just got eclipsed by that shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I was like, "What does what does that sound like? What does like a second tier Elton John sound like? You know?" Mm-hmm. I fuck with it. Like it's it was like really relaxing. I just threw it on. I was like, I don't even thinking about anything. You know, I didn't know any of these songs, so I was boy, like, "The boy right. Elton Elton can rock." You know what I'm saying? Elton did you see this? Uh, did you see this? Uh, Oh, uh, what's the his name? Eggers. Oh boy, uh, yeah. Oh, name? Egerton. Egertons. Yeah, he, yeah. he doing the Ellen John, the Rocket Man movie. Mm-hmm. I, I fuck with that movie. I, I like that kid though. It was good. Uh, I'm gonna say this, but not in a uh, like I'm not checking it, but I watch it on a plane. Mm. They they be having it on a plane, uh, but I didn't I didn't think of it as a plane movie. You know, I just I was like, oh, this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and watch it. Yeah. Um. No, it's pretty good. I did. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it a Ooh. lot. New beer time? It's new beer time. Ugh. And, uh, uh. bro, I think on a box it said, it said, we fucked up. No, nah, it, it said, did. we, I think it said, we messed up. Oh. But, all right, so look. Oh, what you doing, huh? Oh. All right, so look, I'm going to show you something. Knew there was some left in there. All right, look. So this, this is the top of the can. You see it? I do see it. Yeah, it all looks right, perfect. Now. All right, now watch this. Oh, they upside downed it. They upside downed it. That Tangerine Express, that <laughs> hazy IPA stone. Bro, they they, oh. they printed this the can upside down. Bro, I've been seeing this. I've been seeing it. Stone has a whole line of this shit. <laughs> I'm super. Um, what, hold on, what's it called? I'm gonna write it down. This is a the Tangerine Express hazy IPA, and it is a six point seven. Ooh, it is, you about to hear this crickety crack? Ooh, that's a classic crack. Well, that was a good crack. Give that's a jack- classic, good job, Drew. That's a good crack. All right, you All ready? Right, Drew. You ready? Here we go. I'm on. Here, hit me with that taste. Okay. Um, a little bitter. Yeah. A little like bitter. more, more IPA than hazy IPA. It's like. It's like I'm not getting the flavors too much. It might be because I had the other beer first. Mm. But it's a little, little bitter. Um, but okay. you know, I still drink okay. it. I'm not going. Okay. I'm not going to knock you because I'm drinking you. Just, but you know, you maybe bring the flavors out a little bit more. Stone. Ooh, all right. All yeah, right. hit him with that critique, that real critique. Because <clears throat> you ain't sponsoring yeah. this stone. You want to sponsor us? We'll say all kinds yeah, of good stuff. This, <laughs> ain't, this no sponsor. You know, we, we even you know, our sponsors. We, you know, we just we say what's on our mind. We go in, and I, you know, I think they appreciate that though. I think they do. Yeah, honestly. So we're not really in a position to like give them hard critiques, but we just so we just say what we feel. But go nah. ahead, hit me with your new thing. All right. So um, you know, I'm on the. I guess I'm on this lactose tip right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I got that bearded iris mood ring. <laughs> just that pineapple mango and pink guava double IPA. Duh. That dubs, bruh. That dubs. <laughs> oh, you know this? That eight point five. Double oh. IPA. Bro, you just. <laughs> Look at that big crack. Yeah, Ooh. I swear, I, I feel like this is what I think. This is what I imagine Pat in a store is like. I imagine you have your AirPods in. I imagine mm. you're listening to 3-6 Mafia. Mm. And you're hitting up the beer aisle. And you're looking at everything. And you're like, what is the strongest alcohol content? Uh, I'm about to get the strongest beer in it, motherfucker, right now. That's what I feel like you're doing in your head, and then uh-huh. you go ahead and grab some of the big boys. It's you're not off base. You're not off base. You know your boys graduated almost well, almost not not exclusively, but I've been multiple times now. To uh oh shit, look at that. That's a nice color. That's a, that's a nice head. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice double. Then double IPA. Oh, the, look! Ring. It matches the color. Matches the. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Like in the middle. Mhm. Mhm. The middle. Um. 
Yeah, no, I've been going to this uh, Mount Juliet Beer Company, I think it's called. It's a um, it's a little like craft brew store down the street from me. And, bruh, they be getting all this new shit, you know what I'm saying? Let go. Let's go. Dang. You got to finish that bottom of it, you know what I'm saying? That's the one thing that you'd be doing that. Ooh, okay. What'd you think? It's got. Hmm. Oh, leaving us waiting. I don't know about this guava. Oh, what's the guava? <laughs> that guava would be that weird <laughs> fruit, huh? Yeah, I'm like. <laughs> you know. Uh... What's the what's the guava? Is like kind of like a kiwi or something? What's that? Who even know knows? Gua- Who even knows what a guava a... is? You know, what I'm bro. Saying? Hit us up. Hit us up. Quick sister podcast at gmail.com with that guava info. What's guava? You know, hit, hit, hit me up. Citrus states. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what's what's guava I, even? I don't even know. Uh, anyway. I love. I, I love the part of the podcast where we get dumb as fuck. Oh, uh, the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, all right. So this is, in theory, going to be our last, well, for a little while, last unsponsored episode for a little while. Yes, the boys. You the know, boys. we had we had to do a little break, you know, catch catch the rebound. We was both busy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, But, uh, sp- you know, we got all this shit going on. Mm-hmm. I think you, pr- you won't be able to hear it. This will be in the past now. But, bruh, this weekend they're having a uh, virtual beer summit. Mm. from chicago oh yeah so um chicago is uh, about to have a bruiseum true oh the bruiseum bruiseum yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. I, I like uh what people just play with words a little bit like that you know i love it you know that shit made us up made up as hell oh, um, of course so there's there's a um article i sent you about this and basically, they're having a virtual, <clears throat> virtual, uh, what's the fuck, what the fuck, I got? beer summit, where they have like different, you know, panels and all sorts of weird shit. One, the thing that caught my eye the most was they're having stuff like, um, they're having panels such as Beatles, Bowie, and beer. Oh. oh. Yeah. And I was like, what? Hmm. It's $25. Um, this is apparently the second year, so I assume this will go on. So th- this is why we're telling people that this is a thing. This is going to happen. So if you're interested in like weird beer summits and like academic type beer shit, then go check it out. That's dope. <clears throat> yeah. What you doing? You rustling around over there. You know, Binks be yelling at me. You know, he want to come in, Iris in the room. Here. Iris over here coming in the room. The cat is a cat's no. I know. They'd be like, bro, I got to be in that room with you. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, nah, no, nah, you don't. But anyway, <clears throat> there's other, some, there's other um, panels such as beer tasting as a path to self-awareness. Ooh. And, um, you know, other shit like in, advice and guidance for inclusive beer branding and you know i was there besides the bowie one the beer tasting as a path to self-awareness kind of caught my eye like i read this whole article besides these crazy ass pictures they got in here Mm -hmm. read this article and i'm like huh Uh, a moment of enlightenment yeah i was like i could you know hmm if, there, this. if there's any way to justify why I drink so much, I'm gonna find it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find a way and I'm gonna find out why. Uh-huh. And then I'm gonna just ex- just say that's the reason. You I know? mean, bruh, if I could uh articulate a sophisticated oh, sure. reason. Oh, I see Oscar just by <laughs> <laughs> Oscar made an appearance. If I could articulate mm. in a in a very scholarly way why mm-hmm. I drink beer, I'm into it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Cause like, I mean, I'm I'm down. At, at a point, you know, I'm I'm sitting here saying, well, you know, it's part of, it's family thing, it's part of my heritage, 
in the south we drink beer blah, like blah, that's blah. blah 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 that's that basic ass bullshit <clears throat> You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, that's a basic boy. You know what I'm saying? You know, you be saying, I know what you be saying. It's Irish. It's in a family. We, you know, I got the, I got all this. Like, we drink. We we, we the boys. <laughs> I love that head nod. That's, go ahead. Hit me I real. mean. Yeah, it's a real thought, I right? Mean, that's, uh, that's, on, that's just facts, kind of. I, st- I, I started when I was six. You know. <laughs> Bro. I mean, you know. <laughs> I, I mean. Is it is it weird that um I've been told that I was able to tap a keg before I could before <laughs> I remember things? Yeah, you straight up. I don't know. It's a part of that lifestyle for you. You know what I'm saying? It was a lifestyle. You know, uh, Spe- you know lifestyle. Speaking of lifestyle in the holidays, I just saw that Budweiser is coming out with the holiday cans again. You seen oh. these? Mm-mm. They um basically it's a series of cans that they highlight like they passed logos and cans and shit mm-hmm. it's sick super sick and um I, I remember i remember when i first i saw the first gold cap stella and i t- i texted you and you were like what does this mean and i was like i don't know <laughs> i was like i found a golden ticket i found a golden uh, ticket oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, I straight up thought that I would like one something or whatever. And I was like looking oh it up, my God. and it was just so that too. they like had changed their branding and they would started putting gold tops on. Yeah, I do, bro. I thought so you, I thought you won something too. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, no, I guess I guess what we're bringing this up for is like I, I think it's cool, like you know, people actually studying beer and like making it like not just like a, a you don't have to be an alcoholic to like enjoy beer. You can be like a, an academic or like some fucking. Some person that no, really wants to study ass, shit. Normal yeah, ass normal person. people. Normal people can like beer. You don't have to be some drunk, you know. But anyway, I think I think cities have proven that like a <clears throat> beer culture, like not not as in detail as this article that you brought me. The summit, like this mm-hmm. is this is on some different shit. They're talking about some crazy ass shit going on in there. But yeah. like people, communities have come together with beer for sure, and like we have learned that throughout all this like different breweries we went to like these boys know each other beer mm-hmm. communities are in touch with each other they have their competitions but it's always friendly and uh i feel like with all of the craft brewing all the stuff that people have been doing yeah um it is really brought beer to like this weird mainstream like it's like a different kind of thing because like when you used to think of beer you thought of them old beer belly boys uh, going to the motherfucking uh, gas station, getting a big old, you know, 18, 24 pack of Bud. Like, mm-hmm. but now, people be on the IPA. They're like, fancy. Mm, look at They're my fans. IPA. My fancy look at IPA. It. It's so, it's so fucking Hip. craft. Oh, craft. <laughs> look it's at so that craft, craft. brew. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's for sure. You know, in, I've always been interested in beer culture because, you know, America doesn't have beer culture, you know. <clears throat> not like not like Europe. No, no, that's what I'm saying though. Like you know, it's ex- or even um, yeah, mostly Europe, I guess. But like, yeah, man, you can go and get you know a pint at lunch, whatever, no big deal. Yeah, and I'm like, why is that not acceptable here? Yeah, like I, I what if what if I need like a little a little load off, you know, during the lunchtime? Yeah, I I I think that's uh. That is that is weird. That is weird because I mean, I mean technically we came from Europe, so why the fuck, why the fuck are we uh, <laughs> not bullshit, doing this you know? shit? <laughs> it's because some bitch asses didn't bring that over. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fuck no. you guys. Damn. Um, I know my ancestors did. I don't even did, know. Uh, have you ever been to Europe? Nah, I was planning on going this year. You know that, but yeah, 2020 I, guys. <laughs> I'll say I'll say this. I told you about me and my mom went to every pub that we could go to for the time that yep. she was there. That's fire. I feel like I feel like there's one thing about Europe that you can do that you can't do in the States is mm-hmm. you could say, I want a beer and they'll give you the best house beer. Like that it's just like that's their beer that they there's their go to beer. Because normally in the States you have to pick which one you want, you have to say which one you want. But like beer is so R- readily available like it's like they know what you want right so yeah, if yeah. you say uh yeah i'll just take a beer 
I, I like that shit. Like that's like that that that's some like fifties vibe. Like I want to pop. You know what I'm saying? Like Ooh. I want to so I want to pop. Love that. Love that. <laughs> that's also some fifties vibe for sure. That is some fifties vibe. But yeah, speaking of fifties vibe, you know, getting a throwback. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We about to have a throwback sponsor. I'm very excited about Ooh, it. Oh yes. I let's not t- let's not say who it is. Let's not Ooh. say who it is. That's a surprise sponsor. It is a surprise. You know, I'm gonna make a surprise for uh, our original Quick Sixer uh, viewers. Okay, mm-hmm. that's why we threw up the Periscope today. You know, that's we did that thing back in the day. On that's our, that's uh, how we got. That's how we got a lot of viewers, a lot of listeners from Periscope. Yeah. So shout out to you guys. Um, but a lot of people from Russia, which was weird. But we that was we, weird. We fucked with it, I guess. You know? Yeah, I was. I mean, it was weird to say that when we went when we did press uh, uh, <laughs> press info, you know. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, uh, we we have a um, what's it? What's called a returning sponsor? Uh, yeah, that's a little what, preview, that's... you know. Um, I'm excited about it. You got it. You got a box today from them. I did, and then you should be getting your soon. Actually, the box is in the room. We're not going to show it. Don't show it. But is it heavy? But you know what I'm saying? It's heavy, it's big, and guess what it says on top of it? That's what she said. What? Oh. Is it heavy and big, and that's what's on top of it? Uh, I don't know. It said fragile. Did it? So there might be some real goodies in there, like Ooh. some glass goodies. All right, go, in, go ahead and check Drew's unboxing videos for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Speaking of Drew's unboxing videos. <laughs> Go ahead with it. So, your boys over it, you know, I don't even know if we want to call it a incorporated or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you know, happy hour is this show, right? Mm-hmm. But me and you are Quick Sixer, you know? Yeah. Quick Sixer now has a Patreon. Oh, I like shit. that. Shit. Oh shit! Go ahead and check it out. Patreon.com slash Quick Sixer. Um, if you want to, I don't know. Get up on that on that good stuff. That good, good. It's gonna get. So right now we got. You know we're fucking around with it. We don't even know what we're gonna do with it, really, except for a couple things. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you in on on it. I'm gonna let you guys in on it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Because oh, you ass. know all my all my closest friends, you know what I'm saying. Oh, um, drunk ass, kids, <clears throat> bruh, bruh. This move ring and this you this uh, what was the other one called? <laughs> bro, it's funny. Holograms, holograms. I, before before you say this, I'm gonna say like when I sometimes we'll get listeners to say something about our episodes, and at the time when I'm recording, I don't really notice it, but uh, somebody will text me or whatever, shoot me an email, and they'll say. Yo, yo, Pat was faded at the end of episode. No, blank. they didn't. I, yeah, and I was like, "What?" Uh, and it's like, bro, he was so faded. And I'll go back and listen, and because <laughs> like I'm drunk with you, so I don't sure. notice it. And <laughs> I'd be like, "Oh damn, boy, got lit." Man, <laughs> you be getting caught. <laughs> Man, fuck you, Madison and Matt. I know it's you. I know it's you. Damn, all hating ass bitches. Anyway. <laughs> You just wish he was this turn. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> they be get they be drinking with us from the podcast. I know, I love that. Shout out to you guys, actually, love you guys. Anyway, um, yeah, we started this Patreon because we were like, man, there's a lot of breweries and a lot of people that you know they can't really reach out to us or whatever. So we're like, well, how can we do a Patreon or how can we do something that we can like, you know, make it make it fun for everybody. So. Start this Patreon, patreon.com slash quick sixer. There's different tiers to it. Um, currently, we have three tiers. And um, there's a five, fifteen, and thirty-five dollar tier. And um, with those tiers, there's different like stuff you can get. So um, all of them include getting all of our shit early. Okay, so as soon as it's done, it goes up in there. And then, of course, it'll go out in the normal days, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, on iTunes, everywhere else, pod, you know, podcasts around the world. But, um, yeah, you're going to get Drew's unboxing videos early. 
You're going to get the show early. There's merch up on there. There's merch on there. There's merch? There's merch, bro. You know, Drew didn't even know about nothing. There. You what know what is I'm I got to look. I got to go to Bro, Patreon. we got hoodies. We got shirts. We got stickers. We, Whoa. We, we got a limited edition poster. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, we 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 flying. You know what I'm saying? You know, Drew, I told Drew I was like, you know, bro, I've been slacking a little bit, and then the boy started really to turn have. the engines back on. You know what I'm saying? Not slacking no more. You know, Ooh. um, it's kind of sick. So our quick, I'm gonna break it down for you. Our quick sixer sticker. So you you will get after if you're in the first the five dollar tier. Um, it is our original logo that was on iTunes and it's a four by four sticker. Okay. So that's our original logo. It's the, it's the can. Uh, no, it's like the green one with the mm. circle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the original logo. And, um, <clears throat> that's like the $5 here. The next one is, I believe you get a shirt. Bro, I think- I think you're mistaken. Huh. The five dollar tier, you don't get shit except for the early. Oh, it's the next one. It's the, the fifteen. Fifteen, one. you get the sticker, and then the thirty-five, you get exclusive sticker, exclusive T-shirt, exclusive yep. hoodie, exclusive poster. Yep. we can change this up too. I mean, the last, the thirty-five dollar tier is gonna get all that shit, but we can change up the other ones too. Um, you know, this is the new stages. We're 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 just now yeah. doing this thing, so. Um, we're learning as we go and we're going to build this community around this whole thing. So, um, but that merch though, I don't know if you can see any of it. Can you see any of it? Drew? I can't, I can't see it. All right. I'll send you screenshots. It's fire. It's fire. I I, yeah. So the, uh, the limited edition print is our original can logo, mm. the quick sixer podcast can logo, I but on a logo. print on a print. So you'll get that, um, and that's the last thing you get. The the hoodie, there's a hoodie, mm. and um, fuck, which one is that? Uh, that one. All right, can so you, the hoodie, and, you, there's a hoodie and a just, shirt. Can you see it? Can you just show your screen and show it? I don't know if I can. I think you can. I don't know if I can. I want to see, see these. I, I can't even look at it because I'm not a member. I guess I should join. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I should join you? so I get the early access to my own show. Oh damn, damn! You should. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> half it go to you, half it go right back to me. Ooh. And then, wait. My monitor keeps fucking up. Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can show it to you. All right. Um. Fuck. My monitor keeps fucking up. I don't know if oh, I can do damn. this. Damn. Stupid ass. Yeah, my monitor. second monitor keeps fucking up. So damn old dual monitor looking at boy. Um. <clears throat> well, anyway, well that's cool, man. Anyway, I, I, I think uh, this is gonna be good. I can't like I want to expand on the merch for sure. Uh, I want to dive deep into that. We've got some really great quotes that need oh, yeah. to be placed on something, and I feel like. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're not only going to do this. This is just, this is going to be um, Patreon exclusive stuff, but we're also going to do other merch with like the quotes and the stickers and like all, all this other shit. So, um, I mean, there's just, a, there's a lot. Basically, the, the, what it breaks down to is we're doing a lot of shit. And um, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. I'm going to try to show, I'm going to try to show Drew off the air what these uh what this shit is but Ooh, go of, check out that patreon to see what it is yeah yeah go ahead actually go ahead and subscribe you know what i'm saying you know do you <laughs> um we appreciate that support you know what i'm saying um let's get into these last couple this last topic real quick um oh shit i forgot i, I wrote thirsty in all caps Fuck. We already talked about you being thirsty ass boy. Mm-hmm, Thank you, ass mm-hmm, dumb boy. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think that's, that's the right. We that's the last. To wrap it up. That's the last topic I wrote down. My bad. We go ahead and wrap it up. Um. Okay. No, this is actually a good thing to talk about. Um. So we talked about the Patreon thing. This is the thing that um, you know, me and Drew are super new to. So, 
if anybody is already a patron for somebody else, like we we'll definitely welcome the feedback of uh, all of that. Like if you guys like a specific thing that you're like following somebody and they're doing, let us know. We'll do something similar. Um, if you want specific like merch stuff or like if you think something we say is funny and you would like it printed on something, let us know and we'll try to work that out. Um, basically we're trying to do this as to, to the extent that we talked about doing it when we first started the show. And, um, if that's possible, then we're going to do it. So that's basically the idea. Ah, but yeah, man, we're about to get, uh, it's about to get kind of wild in this bitch. Mm. You know? Oh, Drew, I, I realized the other day you never you, you never really said uh your holiday plans. We had holiday plans on an episode and you never said what you were doing. Oh, really? I think so. Hmm. Well, uh I could tell you real quick. Um, Cuz I'm going to tell you what I'm we're doing. Gonna in cook, a we're going to cook for Thanksgiving for ourselves, me and the wife. Mhm. Um we're going to probably do all right so i'll probably i'm gonna go ahead and it's this isn't a sponsor and they don't pay us for this but i'm gonna say something gold belly yeah dot com <clears throat> you talked about gold belly yeah we're gonna get a turducken oh you are we're gonna get a turducken for thanksgiving oh, shit no bro it's gonna <laughs> yeah we're gonna get a turducken sent from gold belly we're gonna cook that shit we i'm gonna make my famous Sweet potato crunch casserole. Ooh. That's when you put the pecans on a sweet potato casserole. It's so good. Mm. Bruh. A lot of people on Thanksgiving do the marshmallow on top of the sweet potato. But nah. You do the pecans with the uh, brown sugar on top. That's what's up. It's good. I got okay. I got, I got, got fans for that. I got people who love it. You got love, fans? Bruh. People be asking for it. Anyway. That's the only thing I can make. <laughs> that and breakfast. Don't undercut breakfast, bro. No, breakfast be the bull. I was real hungry today, and I didn't have my normal snack. I was real. What's I your was normal snack? Hangry. Oh. Uh, I do a I do an apple and peanut butter. That's my normal uh, snack. What like dip? Like you dip them? Like uh, what I'll do is I'll get an apple. I'll do mm-hmm. a spoon. I get a little spoonful of peanut butter, and I'll put it on the apple, and I take a bite, and just do that throughout the whole thing. Hold on. What's up? Have the apple in my hand. Yeah. Take a spoon. Kay. Put it in the peanut butter. Okay. Put it on the apple. Bite ah, it. Okay. Okay. I thought you were taking a bite of the apple and then like <laughs> having this peanut. Butter. Like damn old fat ass boy. <laughs> I would love the peanut butter. Uh, <laughs> uh, dude, you know what's weird? It's, speaking of snacks, um. Every day before we used to go skate, like when I got home from school, like high school or whatever, mm-hmm. I'd come home, I'd make, this is such a weird snack, but I like, I'd make a can of soup, eat the soup with like some, Ritz, and have some like Ritz crackers with it, you know, th- or some crackers, whatever. Watch a skate video <laughs> and then go skate. Wait, wait. Every day. You're like an old lady. Bro, I love soup. I Why love you love it. soup so much? I, you know, it's 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 a. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I used to my my snack when I get home is I either have a Reese's that was in the freezer. A I Reese's have, in the freezer. Bro, do you not put Reese's in the freezer? No, I do. But All like right. you, you had this on like reg, on the regular. On a reg. I either have that. Or I do bowl okay. peanuts. A you bowl of peanuts. Yeah, you don't do that in Memphis, do you? That's a, that's a deep south thing. Like, like shelled ones, yeah, boiled like ones. What boiled are we talking peanuts. about? Yeah, boiled peanuts, and then you All have right. to sh- you have to unshell them yourself. Uh, okay. But that was a shit. My thing was, and I, there was like a time where I would do that, have a coke, boiled peanuts, and watch uh, what's that John Leguizamo movie? Uh, the the fucking the Mario pest, the pe- oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> bro! I, tell me, tell me you didn't secretly like that when you was a kid. 
Bro, I still like it. I don't give a shit. That shit was dumb as fuck, but it was really It's so stupid. Good. It it's was so, so stupid. stupid. Uh, no, the, the Pest. Did you ever see that movie? For you, some reason... Bro, you've talked about The Pest uh, multiple times. They showed like, that movie on like Showtime or Cinemax or something at forever. 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock for like three months. I'll watch that shit over and over again. I don't know why. I watch, mo- I watch movies all over again. That's crazy. But anyway... Um, we 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 getting we teetering, man. We teetering. No, I know, but uh, you know, you didn't watch any skate videos. I know you didn't really have skate videos, but you didn't watch any. I. There was a few that I watched. I watched uh, like I got Minakamanti. That was one okay. I watched on repeat. I the first one I bootlegged was um. Yeah right. And then I remember I used to watch the Logic movies. The Logic. Do you remember the Logic? Logic's dope. Yeah, yeah. Logic and then Progression. I watched Progression. Do you remember that that series? I liked. I think they really that those series of of VHSs changed the way that I skated because mm. they weren't they weren't like big trick uh, skaters. They were like um, ledge and. Um, manual skaters like the mm. logic people do you remember those videos they were kind of like more ledge than anything mm-hmm. i don't know i saw a lot of manuals i saw a lot of ledge tricks i saw a lot of flipping which was like at the time flip into ledge crazy. tricks was like yeah, yeah was crazy and then um what else do i watch i know i watch i watch a couple i don't know but yeah okay. skate skate culture wasn't it that wasn't in and wiggins like it we wasn't. didn't before the internet, skate culture was way different. Yeah. Oh damn! I'm smacking the mic. All right, all right. It's time. It's, it's about time. <laughs> um, but Shut I know, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I have one surprise for you. A surprise? Yeah. Stand by. About to show you the surprise. Oh, you about to show me the surprise? Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. here comes the surprise. Uh, hey, the surprise. Here come the surprise. Oh. You see what I'm seeing? It just says, he, oh, I see it. Okay. So right now, if you're looking on the uh, YouTubes right now, you're going to get <clears throat> a little preview of what the $35 do- tier on Patreon will give you. So here's our Quick Sixer podcast original logo sticker. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see it? Mm-hmm. Here's our um, T-shirt. It would look nice, dude. Look at that. Oh, shit. That's a Skepta Knight. That in the oh, subway, oh. Pat and Drew Quick Sixer. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> that shit fire. <laughs> that shit fire. Damn, gold chains and everything. Gold chains and grime on that shit right there. <laughs> Bro, we were so mm. fucked up on the subway. So fucked up. So <laughs> fire. <laughs> I can't believe you found that shit. I can't believe all you right, put that shit together. Right. Check out this hoodie picture. Check out this hoodie picture. All right, just that hoodie picture. Um, I don't know. That's kind of, It's kind of fire. That's good. That's good. I like that. Yeah, this is from a Royal Seco. So this is from when um me and Drew got to go and do a uh, our first music festival. Um, as a company, as Quick Six here, and uh, this is us drinking at the music festival <laughs> <laughs> for free, <laughs> and it's kind of dope. It's kind of dope. It, and here is the limited edition art poster. Which is pretty yeah. sick. Yeah, that's cool. Anyways, so yeah. If you get um, the thirty-five dollar tier on Patreon, this is you get these things one thing every three months, which is pretty dope. Um, it's basically they call it a um, loyalty program. Mm. So basically, you get a prize every three months. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. For supporting you boys. So I think they're pretty sick. I don't know. I was pretty pumped that I figured that I found these hoodies. Like I have a um album 
on my phone called Quick Sixer, mm. and I've been saving pictures from like forever in mm-hmm. in that album, mm-hmm. and like this is from that. So mm-hmm. a lot of those, uh, but pretty cool. Yeah, it kind of spans the whole the whole gamut mm-hmm. of uh, time, kind of. You know, we're we're gonna also gonna make like um the new logo, the happy hour logo into something and all of that stuff. So go check it out. It's your you boys. know it's been fun, you know. It's been your boy. It's been you Drew been working hard today. You know, he could barely even got this episode in the time. I don't know. You know, but uh I gotta shout out my boy, Drew Pasley, you know, he's sticking it out. Go ahead and hit Getting that uh, that episode in with me, you know, on the deadline. <laughs> on the deadline. You know, on the deadline. Hit, hitting the episode real hard. Hitting the episode hard, you know. It, bro, would you say, would you say if I added my, my 8.5, my 8.5, that I have a 17% alcohol content intake? Uh, That's how math works, yep. All right, cool. That's how we go. Um, so just so you know, it's been your boys. This is episode 19, Happy Hour, Quick Sister Podcast. It's been your boys, Pat Drew Pasley. Go and check out that Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash quick sixer. Email us some shit, quick sixer podcast at gmail.com. Go and check out that Instagram. Go ahead and check out that Twitter. <laughs> oh, damn. Because you know, I'd be, I'd be fucking with people on Twitter with, with the Instagram. I don't know if you know. But anyway, uh, you got anything to say? Because it's your boy. Yeah, that's all I got to say. It <laughs> is 